In the kitchen, there are food criminals and food victims. These are their stories. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of Food Crimes. And today's video is a request from my friend Tahaji from our What the, what the Fuck group. Eventually, when I get it, when I am able to be mom, I'll probably say WTF group. But right now, fuck it. We'll say fuck a lot. Fuck, 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 any fuck, fuck. <laughs> Anywho, um, I don't know what I'm in store for. I purposely, I mean, I've seen bits of the video, but I haven't watched the whole video on purpose because I wanted to just organically be horrified by whatever the fuck this is going to be. And I apparently like torturing myself. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but if a part of my brain just snaps, I blame you, Taji. <laughs> Still love you, but so. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Check my volume. I don't want this being too loud in my ear. Yep, that's loud. Okay, I was curious about the Velveeta. Velveeta is good for some stuff, but uh, and I understand using Velveeta in mac and cheese. Of course, you know. I've had you've had Velveeta like shells and cheese and stuff. It's pretty bomb. All right, but why are you pouring dry macaroni noodles in it? And why is there a cat under my laptop? What are you doing, ma'am? Ma'am. You keep messing around. I'm gonna. Now you probably would eat that. No, you wouldn't. She said no. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. What you gonna do next? Well, so I'm assuming that she's going to pour the milk in and she's going to bake it. And it might cook the macaroni, but I don't know. This seems like a ass backwards way of making a macaroni and cheese. I don't just, just, this seems like a lot. A lot of steps that are just fucking unnecessary. It's like, why? This. While it's not as horrifying and brain breaking as the other stuff I've watched, this ain't great either. This is. <sighs> Alright. <coughs> Let's see how this, what, where this goes. I might be pleasantly surprised, who knows. I'll give you a chance. It's a lot of milk. Um, that's all the pepper you're gonna put? Really? I would think they need more pepper than that. Not a lot of salt either. But what is that? It's Parmesan. Okay. So this is apparently Costco Parmesan. I don't, I'm confused by what I'm saying. I, I guess, like I said, once again, this is a lot of steps for something that 
if she just did this the normal way, she would have been already most of the way done by now. You know, unless she wanted to bake it, then that's cool, but... I don't know. This... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm watching here right now, honestly. So. <laughs> Okay, since you have a block of fucking Velveeta in there and half gallon of milk, is it really necessary to add the butter? Would, ain't that going to be a little bit much? No one asked you, cat. Oh, how fancy she already had a pre-cut. Ooh. <laughs> Aren't we fancy with our fucking Velveeta and dry-ass macaroni? <laughs> we have our pre-sliced butter. <laughs> mm, yes. Call me Butter Bay. Mm. Fucking hell. Okay, just do it. Stop. Stop acting like you're doing an art piece. You're just putting butter on fucking dry macaroni. Just fucking do it and move on. You're wasting your time and our time. Mostly our time. You're wasting our time. We don't give a fuck about you. Let's just see what sort of a monstrosity you're making here. Speed it up. Come on. Why are you putting butter on the Velveeta? What are you... What are you doing? You can't just use a knife. You can't just use a knife like a normal fuck. Now, you're, not only are you doing extra stuff, but you're giving yourself extra stuff to wash later. Unless you're one of these fuckers that got a cleaning lady once again, and you're just fucking with the cleaning lady at this point. With all that in there, do you really need the heavy whipping cream? Really? Anastasia, does she need the whipping cream in there? You're a cat, you don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Ma'am, I don't think that's necessary. I really don't think it's necessary. Look at her, she's so proud of herself. I don't know if she should be or not. I don't know why for a split second I thought she was gonna stick that in a microwave. At least she's putting it in an oven, I guess. I guess. All right.
No. Okay. That. Hold on. No, we don't want another video starting. Hold on a second. Cancel. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to watch it yet. Chili cheese. We bread the flour first so that your egg wash sticks. Egg. Get it all the way in there. Some cheddar. With the cup that you're going to use, make two rounds on the cheddar. That way you have the right size. The knife. You take that round off. Just like that. And we're gonna repeat that process. Make yourself four perfect cheddar I rounds. Guess. Plastic film. Double it up. Place it on top of the cup. Try to center that right. Take your cup out. Take your round. Place it on the bottom. You should have that. Whole piece of cheddar. Turn it oh. just a bit. Twist it oh, a bit. Hold it. And push that down with the knife. The second piece. Oh, okay. Put it right there. Try and overlap them a little bit so that they will end up Okay, don't have to continue with that. I get, I, I get what he's doing with that. That's actually not so bad. It's like chili and cheese. You put chili and cheese, like lining the cup of cheese and putting chili in it. I get it. I get it. It's almost like street food, almost if you think about it. So, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I mean, Wendy's should do that. Am I the only only one that likes that actually likes Wendy's chili? I like the pieces of bird in it. I don't know. But anyway, back to the original video. Um, all those extra steps. All those extra steps she did. Her being, trying to be artful with the butter. And it came out looking like shit. It was goopy and juicy. It did not look right. She made it. It was just. Just cook your macaroni. Put the Velveeta in it. Yeah, okay. You want to use Velveeta? Awesome. Throw that in there. That's what the shit's for. It's good for that. All right, fine. All you didn't need, you don't, well, you need maybe a little bit of milk, maybe? But I don't even really think you needed all that. Cut up your cilantro with a knife like a normal fuck. Yeah. That. Wow, that wasn't as horrible as the other videos. That was pretty fucking bad. I'm just ruining, y'all just ruining mac and cheese out here. God. If Gordon Ramsay saw that, he'd be shitting himself right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be back with another episode soon. Thanks to Zahashi for... Maybe watch this. <laughs> and definitely... Send me more suggestions. Uh, leave them in the comments below. Or if you're in the same group I'm in. The what the fuck group. Just say hey. Juan. Here's another video for you. Anyway. I will see you guys later with another video. Bye. Fucking ruining mac and cheese. What the fuck.